um, hi Sidiya, uh, welcome to this Attitude online video interview. Okay, thanks for having me. welcome. Um, so let's get straight to it. <clears throat> um, have you always wanted to be in the Miss Barbados project? Well, it's always been a hidden dream of mine. My mom was in the Miss Barbados world. And actually, it's around the same age, she went to the And I always thought that it would make her proud. And I love to model, so entering the pageant has all those elements. And I just always thought I would do good in it. Um, I mean, there's seven of you, right? Uh, I mean, y'all spend a lot of time together. Yes. So, <laughs> do you think that, um, like, if there wasn't a pageant, you guys would have been friends? Um, I'm sure if we met one another and we still did everything that we do now, I'm pretty sure, yeah, because we're really close. Mm -hmm. um, we never have tension among us. Mm -hmm. We go out together, we went to a public hall, and everywhere we go, we just have fun and laughing. And there are some people who are like the life of the party, mm -hmm. so like, it's always happy. So, how was it like, like the first time you met everyone? Was it like, were you nervous? Or were they like, you know, were you quiet and stuff? Or did you guys match? I was really nervous. <laughs> but then when I started to, you know, see everyone kind of Speaking of um, personalities, if one of the girls had to um, describe you, what do you think they would say? Like, what do you think they would say about you? Um, I think they would say that I'm crazy. Mm -hmm. um, I love to have fun. Mm -hmm. And I like to be around the I'm mostly always happy. If I'm not happy, it's not because I'm hungry. <laughs> um, they can probably say I eat a lot. And I'm helpful. Yeah. Um, Project isn't like in one day, it's like a journey, right? So like what do you, what do you think is your weakness that sometimes something that you have to work on to go and go through and then go? Um well my biggest weakness when I first entered was because I get really shy. But throughout this pageant though, I've been doing so many appearances that it's actually getting a lot better. But I think I just need to work on that a little more, especially for the pageant and answer segment. But, yeah, I mean, you're doing a pretty good job now. You're pretty relaxed and stuff. Um, so, what is one thing that you learned that will always stay with you like, for the rest of your life? I haven't learned one thing. I've learned so many things. But, I definitely learned that you can have fun and Speaking of time management, uh, what's the, your average Miss Barbados for a day like? Like, when you get it, you do? Well, normal days when I'm just working on stuff on my own, I usually get about 
some animations, but not like... Like animations? Like, depends on what it is. These are like really guy things, you know? No, like, it's more animation than action. Like, fighting like, you know, like that? No, like, there's this movie called Fantastic Mr. Box. Yeah, 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 that was good. That was good. <laughs> that, was good. Like, that sort of stuff. That was interesting. And action and comedy for sure. Um, I will watch some horrors. Really? Yeah, like... What did I watch recently? I watched I Spit on Your Grave. No, I didn't watch that. Yeah. A lot of people are saying, oh, that was so nasty, but to me it was just like, it creeped you out, mm -hmm. but it wasn't like, scary. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I like a lot of different things. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, Alright, so moving on, like, tell me what we think, like, um, like, how do you envision it going? Like, do you think about it a lot? And you, you get nervous, even, cause even though it's not here yet, and you get nervous about it, like, do you think everything will go smoothly? Well, yes, I'm being very positive. I am trying to finalize everything prior to the show so that when it comes down to the final days, I'm not scrambling because that like, stresses me a lot. And so I'm trying to plan everything in my mind, have everything, you know, have an idea of what it's going to be like. And thinking about it, honestly, I'm excited. Like um, we have an open routine where we're dancing and our food and stuff. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I think I'm looking forward to all the segments. So where talent, I've been working on my talent really hard. What's your talent? Or you can't see it? It's a secret. Oh, <laughs> but um, I'm pretty sure it was surprising for people. Okay. But um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. And I think it will go smoothly once I relax and don't try to stress me. Because then that's when all the nerves hit you. Just relax and make sure everything's planned in advance. Okay. Um, I mean, so far in the interview, you've been saying that like, your days are really long and there's a lot of stuff packed into it. So, like, how do you handle all that? Like, is there someone that you lean on most for like, support? Or like, when you just feel like, you know, down and out, like, who helps you fix it? Well, I have a really small team of persons. Like, there's a couple <laughs> but it's small but really effective. Like they're there for me for anything. I can call them at three o'clock and say, I need you here now and they'll be there. So just drop whatever they have to do and they'll be there for you. And anything they need help with, they're always there. So I think that having such a small support group is really good for me. Because anything I need, they're there. I can guarantee that they're there. Anything they can help me in. Sometimes it's even like they're calling me every day. Like my dad mm -hmm. or my mom calls me every day. Do you need this? Do you need this? Sometimes it gets like relaxed. Yeah. But then I understand because then it actually does ease my load a lot. But yeah, I have a very small team and they're very effective. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, so what are you think that like, I mean, you know, you're always in like, the public eye and stuff because of Miss Barbie. I don't understand. I mean, like, do you think that younger girls see you and want to be like you or like, look up to you? And if you think so, like, what advice would you give them? Like, okay. um, well, I've actually encountered a couple of girls mm -hmm. my age <laughs> that feel that they look up to me a lot and even older, mm -hmm. like older women that I've never met before. Really? Yes, they will like message me on Facebook mm -hmm. and just be like, oh my gosh, I look up to you. And before you even enter the present, mm -hmm. there was this one lady that messaged me and she was like, you should really enter me for this. I'm going to back you 300%. So sad, so done. I entered and she messaged me, is there anything you need me to do? <laughs> really? And yeah. So I would just tell anyone who looks up to me that if you have a passion for something, go for it. And if an opportunity comes, you answer to it. Because you never know what may come out of it. And make, don't let anyone cry you down and say, oh, modeling is not a career or pageantry is nothing big. You need to be a doctor or a lawyer. If you want to do it, pursue it. Because you can get very far in life with it. And even after morning, you have such a big experience mm -hmm. that you can branch off into different things, movies, whatever, mm -hmm. commercials. So definitely, if you have a passion for it, go for it. Just mm -hmm. be dedicated and have people there for you that will support you. Mm -hmm. And succeed in everything you want to do. Pretty admirable. Um, so this is like what you really want to do. Yeah. Yeah, I can tell. Like, you know. But um. 
thanks for coming out and giving us some new list for your time out. I mean, it was really last minute, you smoked really well for it being last minute, but um, I'll miss it. Alright, bye. Bye.